Just recently ins installed this sport tune motor uh, in my Tamiya TT02. As you can see there, the sticker. I put a little uh, wire wrap here to protect the wire from the sharp uh, motor can. Got some slots cut out at the bottom for a little extra cooling. But um, yeah, the ESC is a uh, Hobby Wing Quick Run 1080. Um, right now the, the pinion is a 29 tooth, the spur is a 58 tooth, I use the spur gear from this gear set. Um, it's really made for the TT-01, but it can also work in the TT-02, I had to uh, shave down the the hub here it was thicker than before I shave it down a little bit and it will fit also in the TTO2 um, so the final drive ratio right now is a uh, 5.2 and the car is topping out at uh, 30 30 miles an hour it's verified by the Sky RC GPS so before I had this motor, I was running this sort of racing motor, this uh, Sagami Japanese uh, motor, it's from Team Brood, it's a 19 turn, it was just too fast for my, uh, too fast, it drives a little too fast, too, a little too uncontrollable for me. Uh, it was topping out at the car was maxing out at around 40 miles an hour and going over any small bumps at that speed will just make the car fly in the air it's um, so yeah so this thing limits the power output a little bit and 30 miles an hour is a about the sweet spot of where I want it, how fast I want it to be, and it, it's still very, uh, it's still controllable. You used to, the car still handles pretty well, um, especially on a parking lot. It's you know, it's, it's gonna have small cracks here and there. Um, another nice things about a seal can motor is. They have typically they have wicker magnets inside, and typically they have very little uh, cogging torque or uh, detent. Uh, it's the force. It's the it's the interaction between the magnets inside and the the, the stator from the rotor. So seal can has motors have very little that cogging torque or detent force a race motor that has stronger magnets have stronger you can see there when I spin it by hand it's that's got it's got that jerkiness it doesn't want to spin smoothly it resists turning then it and then once it stops, it's got that jerkiness. That's the that's the uh, cogging torque. Uh, it's much stronger. So at lower speed, it it won't have a smooth uh, spin up, start up like this. And on a uh, touring car, you know, which is typically geared for speed, which will have a lower final drive ratio, uh, 
Also, they have touring cars, you know, that small tires, smaller wheels. So, you, you have to gear it low like that to get speed. So, on a car like touring car, having the less less detent less that less of that jerkiness like the smoother essentially the smoother the the motor runs uh the smoother the car will will run when accelerating and smoother acceleration gives you give the tires you know it makes the tar a car easier to drive because smooth acceleration give gives the tires more traction stability and control okay you don't want you know you want to you don't want abrupt jerkiness when it's accelerating that's um that's that's not good for traction so so it's a great match the sport tune motor is a great match for uh for a touring car like this TTO2 uh I don't know what I'll use the, for this motor but this this cogging effects um cogging torque um it can be reduced when you run in in a in a vehicle that has a higher final drive ratio and then those typical those vehicles are typically an off-road sort of truck or something like that because they have much bigger tires, much bigger wheels, much bigger tires, and that require uh, a more gear reduction in the drivetrain. So, like a crawler, for example, you know. Final dry ratio might be 15, 20, or even higher. So this, so when the motor runs through that much gear reduction, this cogging effect is minimized. So yeah, that's 